What's going on, everyone? This is Chris with Food for Your Thoughts. I hope you're having a wonderful day. We're back with another presentation. And I really do hope you've been taking care of yourself and learning more about yourself with these numbers, your life path, your soul mission, your purpose, right? And today is all about angel number 11. And, you know, and this number 11 in general. So if you've been seeing this number popping up in your life a lot lately, this presentation is for you. All right, so be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below i would greatly appreciate it and today is all about angel number 11 vibration why you keep seeing it and remember guys our purpose and mission requires learning life lesson and to gain experience and knowledge for our soul's growth all right we we have to grow all right growth requires change so share your knowledge and wisdom with people help them level up you know plant that seed don't force the information on people okay but that seed will you know will manifest it may take a little time but once you plant that seed they can't unhear or unsee the information that you that you share with them if that makes sense okay so you know just be mindful of that along your path you don't want to you don't want to hurt people feelings you know by dropping gems right but you do want to you know it's all about how we deliver the message okay you know keep that in mind but your thoughts your belief words emotion and actions always going to equal your reality and your, your results so in my experience if you know if when you live going by these seven hermetic principles this is going to give you that balance and that better consistency in your life you'll be able to eliminate all the bs in your life all that fear right and you'll be able to see things from a higher plane because this is your hero's journey not you know it's not just me this is your hero's journey too because i'm a reflection of you in a different time and space and i'm here to remind you part of my purpose is to remind you of your greatness all right because you're here to do miraculous things great things so you're on the right path so so far since we're talking about this hero's journey right you've been receiving some supernatural aid some assistance from you know source your your spiritual team you know you're getting better acquainted you know with these new energies on the planet right and so you so far you've been you know you really reach the point of your life you're like hey there has to be more to life than what they teach us and you know the the things i've been doing in life so far hasn't really been working for me you know and i've been hearing a lot about you know if i want something different in my life i have to do something different so in other words i have to change you know the things in my life my routine you know start doing new things so if i want different results in my life but doing the same thing over and over again, expecting, this, you know, different results, you're going to drive yourself crazy, okay? So don't do that. So change change up your, your style. Change up your flow, right? Just change up your routine. Little tweaks here and there. You'll be amazed. You'll be a different person because we always growing. But here I am. I'm that virtual coach and mentor, you know, that long lost friend, you know, from eons. And we made a, a pack say, hey, you know, Chris, you know, start you know sharing some messages so i can get on the frequency with you and that way I, I you can remind me of my assignment and that's what i'm here to do so i'm giving you you know some proper expectations some direction from my point of view right that way you can properly discern for yourself but that way when you experience these challenges it doesn't catch you off guard if that makes sense because you know some people out here they really want to you know trip you up but i'm giving you some some real game here so if you take action and use these principles you will greatly thank me later but this is all about your you know transformation here so there's going to be a lot of temptation out there to get you distracted off your path but it's all about atonement and returning as a new person each and every day so each and every day we are growing constantly growing through the process you know helping people becoming bigger and better you know and that's what it's all about so the only competition that we really have in life is being in the being better than that person that we were yesterday. So it's all about learning more, new, you know, more things, new things. OK, but today, a lot of you guys been getting these light codes, cheat codes. Right. And, you know, with these numbers popping up in your life, you really don't have an idea what they mean. So I'm here to share my experiences with you and hoping that, you know, you'll be able to take some some, uh, you know, the message and incorporate it or to see if it really resonate with you but this is my confirmation that you you know whatever you're you feeling right now when you see these numbers you are on the right path but you know be mindful or your thoughts at that time your belief words emotion action the things you're doing at this time because this is a, a 
kind of like an alarm clock, you know, so to speak. But, but again, it's all about these light code, cheat code. So for you guys not getting a lot of sun, I put one up here for you. So, you know, if you really meditate on this thing here, you'll notice that this thing is, is moving. Okay. It has a little energy in it. Okay. So, you know, focus on this sun a little bit. It will help you out. So let's talk a little bit about, you know, this number 11. So if you've been seeing the number 11, you know, in my experience, this coming number 11 symbolized the principle of spiritual awakening and enlightenment, high energy, idealism, inspiration, and in intuition, you know, illumination, visionary, enthusiasm, creative, creativity, self-expression, and sensitivity. And it taps in, you know, you into the mysticism of life because you know what? You, you, you seeing things, the whole world with a, a fresh set of eyes, the veil is being lifted, you know, in your reality. But the number 11 tells us that to, we really need to connect with our higher self is to know and live our soul mission and life purpose. And that's what we talk about here all the time. Now, this master number 11 is usually called the illuminator, the messenger, or the teacher. Now, it relates to, you know, those who are here to be an inspirational guide, guiding light for others. Their mission is to really bring illumination to others and to help raise the spiritual awareness. OK, so if you see this number, you know, popping up a lot, it's just reminding you like, hey, you know, it's time to wake up. It's time to start, you know, putting in a little work, stand, you know, focus on your, your purpose, your mission, your life path. Right. And that way, you know, the universe is going to align the right people, the right places at the right time for your growth. And it's all about your intent. OK, so now that you know, like, hey, I, I do have a purpose. I do have a mission. Let me investigate my life path. You know, so if you don't know how to calculate, you know, those, you know, your life path numbers, I have some presentations, you know, set up just for you. All right. So but look into that, you know, the unexamined life isn't worth living. OK, guys, but let's continue as we close. Now, this angel number 11 really brings a message, you know, from your angels or your spiritual team to really pay attention to your thoughts and ideas as these are really revealing the answer to your prayers, guys. Now, your positive affirmation that you've been sending out, optimistic attitude will also help manifest your desires and help you to achieve your goals that you've been putting out there to the cosmos and aspirations. You know, they also assist you upon your spiritual life purpose and soul mission, too. So this is, again, you will start to see, you know, this number 11 just popping up all over the place. You know, it may not be 11, it may be 336 on the clock because 3 plus 3 plus, I mean, 3, 335, 335 on the clock because 3 plus 3 plus 5, that's 11, right? But you get the gist, right? And you'll start to see the symbolism in everything because we've been talking about the Zodiac Wheel, right? We've been dealing with the Tree of Life, right? And it's all the same thing. And, you you know, once you see the, you know, the basis of the symbolism that we've been covering, covering so far, you realize, like, hey, you know, the universe, the universal signature, the all is in everything. Yes, indeed. Right. And this 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 symbolic simple symbology here, you know, just showing that, you know, with this anchor, you know, when you trapped in your root chakra, you're going to be weighed down. But when you operate from the heart, you can tap into that that Christos. Right. That Christ like energy, that halo where you tapped into source where all things are possible. Right? <laughs> oh, man. Sounds like a cliche. But with this hero's journey, guys, again. You know, the masses of people, you know, are carried along, obedient to the environment. The wills and desires of others stronger to themselves, heredity, suggestion, and other outward causing moving them about like pawns on the chessboard of life. But the masters, like you guys listen to this presentation, you know, rising to the plane above using these seven hermetic principles, dominate their moves characters qualities and powers as well as the environment surrounding them and become movers instead of puns okay the three initiatives the cabalion right three seven hermetic principle guys but as we get out of here you know with this angel number 11 it really encourages you to really con you know find a way to con contribute your unique perspective and philosophy 
and really instigate a new consciousness. Seek out some kind of way, you know, to form an outlet where they can be like active participation, whether it be through one's own profession or some charitable organization. But working with others give you know gives the opportunity to be the inspirational leader setting the example for others to really learn from guys and this number really encourages you also you know to insist and inspire the human race like i mentioned to you before via your natural abilities so you don't need to buy all these products because people just need you there and your message your voice okay you are the gift oh un unwrap the present guys and live in the present moment right now OK, but you here to use your natural abilities that really help inspire the, you know, the human race and, um, you know, really rely upon your inner wisdom and intuition to really guide you along the, you know, throughout the process. And lastly, you know, this number 11 encourages you to be an inspirational guide and light and really, you know, help people bring out the best in themselves. OK. And that's what it's all about. You teaching other people to help themselves and that way they're not being a consumer and now they they'll be able to help themselves and they can produce something, create something, a legacy for their family. It's not necessarily money, okay? And it's just having that time and freedom and flexibility with family to really have those heartfelt moments that we really here to experience, guys. Okay. But as we close this was angel you know number 11 in my experience i can go a little bit deeper but i will continue this series with 22 all the way to like 99 and double zero and then you know i'll share some more light codes you're dealing with different number sequences okay guys so if you've been receiving you know different light codes you know different number sequences all the time first thing first do your own research see what they you know what they what kind of feedback you get on your end through your research and then if you still feel like you need some you know a little bit more answers you know drop me a comment down below you know and i'll do you know i'll do a presentation on it but do your research first i'm not going to sit here and answer your answer the, the question for you <laughs> you know i don't have all the answers but i can give you my perspective if that makes sense okay but i don't mind sharing my perspective but do your, your own due diligence and research for yourself see what it means for you versus letting somebody else tell you what it means for you okay but our purpose and mission require learning life lessons for ourselves and to gain experience and knowledge for our own soul's growth share your knowledge and wisdom with people again your thoughts belief words emotion and action are always going to equal your reality and your results all of us are going through changes the kundalini you know energy on the planet is rising and it's affecting each and every one of us that's why we're having these different you know spiritual experiences okay so welcome <laughs> welcome aboard but again be sure to click the like and subscribe button down below we'll be back with our next presentation deal with the master number 22 until next time guys love yourself work on yourself learn more about yourself learn these seven hermetic principles and use them daily all right you will thank me all right until next time this is chris stay grateful and focus fam peace